and okay guys this is uh, tensorflow uh, object detection tutorial 2019 the previous tutorial i have made many of them has been watching the tutorial and being thanking me for that right so but i have to tell you the sad story is that it works no more right people who are just believing that for a long time huh? so i could also not delete it right but i need some views now so actually what happens is as you can see these old tutorials are no more being working because this pro talk and everything has gone before the uh, more than 3000 views but these are not working anymore and these things uh, crossed about 1000 case and these have been so this is the very latest tu tutorial on custom of the detection so please follow this please don't go to those old tutorials okay right so now what we are going to do is we are going to just install this custom object detection and this tensorflow api on our system so in order to do what all we have to do i will tell you so i have made and detailed this is not anymore a docker container oriented thing right so what are we going to do so the first thing would be uh, let me get to you so i have a wonderful thing called from this but this is actually we can we are also going to do with docker but this is not a docker container oriented thing so this is a very simple offline custom object detection so that anyone can do but people are being just confused by these topics right okay now what are we are going to do is huh? we are going to install all these things so first we are going to upgrade and update our system right right first update and upgrade our system and yes you the o sudo paste this hit enter give your password so let it get upgraded and updated so i am in zorin os and this is open to 18.04 bionic flavor based okay so now you have to make a directory called tensorflow right make a directory called tensorflow right. make a directory sorry tensorflow t e n s o r f l o w right now what you have to do is now we are going to install this pip uh, we know you don't need of upgrading or installing this pip because you already have a pip so we are going to install this tensorflow gpu version because i have installed ndcc uh, uh, gpu this graphics card cuda toolkit 10.1 and cuda and 7.6 so there will be no trouble and i have a 3 4 18 uh, drivers which i have found it on the net please choose whatever you are really want to so the next thing would be installing tensorflow so you have to install this as sudo sudo pip install tensorflow gpu and hit enter so this may take a long time because it's about 390 mb right so let's see what happens now right and this may take a long time okay i'll just intimate you when it okay so there is sort of error that this error shows up so you have to just rectify it so let's try to rectify this right is this on the google so the setup tools requirement is not supposed to be that when it shows that okay tensorflow you should go for this issue right so obtain the tensorflow version tf environment wave from the card 
okay let's see what's this huh? many of them have been talking about this right so you have to go to this user bin environment and you have to set this up right right let's first go to the user bin environment cd and this user bin environment No, no, it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be fresh. Too many arguments, right? So no problem with that. So just go to user. Okay, because you could not access it from here, right? Just, just get into the file system. After getting into the file system, go to the user bin. It's just crawling, and I think there's no environment over here. No bin environment, right? So it will be user bin environment. It's not supposed to be here. Okay, you have another thing bin here, but no environment. So let's check this out. The environment is available or not? E and B, right? There's no environment anywhere. Okay, but still you have this setup dot tensor board is the only problem with this. Okay, but I don't think this could cause any trouble. Okay, please don't worry. So the next thing what you are going to do is you are going to install this app LXML. So this is not going to cause you a trouble. Okay, this just needs TensorFlow board for debugging. We are not going to debugging now. Okay, even though it would cause problems, we will look out for later. So you have a uh, driver, NVIDIA driver 418 or something for this. Okay, so you have to install this uh, sudo app to get install compiler python pill python lxml. Okay, so given over here, okay, you have to use sudo, then next thing would be Jupyter Notebook, right? Right now, just install Jupyter Notebook. I think I have installed it already, right? For this, okay. Next thing would be matplotlib and you also you have to install this numpy okay numpy arrays i don't know why it's taking too long okay, let it take its own time okay it's already installed right jupyter notebook is already installed so S U D U sudo and matplotlib is also installed I think so. So now what you need is just numpy and you have to just git clone it to tensorflow models right and you have to get into this research use this protoc and just rest this history. Oh my god. I don't know why it is taking too long. Right. So matplotlib has also been installed. So let's check whether numpy is there. Okay. So let it get installed. stop now and now you have to git clone it into this tensorflow directory right okay now what you have to do is get here and go to this cd tensorflow right now just git clone this this may take a long time because it's a very big file okay go we'll take some rest have some coffee, watch some movies and come back, right? Bye, see you.
okay i think the tensor flow has been installed over here and go to models and you have everything over here now open the terminal from here would be a good one to do right open the terminal from here so after opening this you have to go into this research directory that's what i have done C D R E S E A R C H, right? Okay, you have get into this, and now what you do is you have to use this code to activate Protoc. If it is not working, you have committed some mistake. So it is working. It didn't show any error, right? In the previous tutorial in our channel, what we have made is a very complex one, right? You need to download the protobuf. You have to run it. You have to install it. You have to do every sorts of thing, and there is a headache over that. Okay, but these people have just reduced your time. Okay, so this is a very nasty task to do. So our old tutorials, please neglect it. Follow the latest one, and also our new tutorials on Euro object detection. People are just following the old tutorials. Okay. Please just follow the new tutorials. I will be just updating whenever I can. Okay, right. Okay. So I think in YOLO object detection there will be not any major changes, but in TensorFlow there are changes keep on coming. Right. So you have to be updated for only TensorFlow, not for YOLO. Okay. So Protoc has been done. So the next thing is that after that we have to export these things to the Dash RC. So we are going going to Vim Dash RC. Right now you are in the Vim editor mode. Just paste it. Okay. Now what you have to do is press Escape and type is to WQ. This means that save and exit. Right now you have same saved and exited it. So the environment variables have been saved. Okay, so we have we make it. That is what we have done. So now what you have to do is use Jupyter notebook, or if you are just not interested to do we make it, you can go to G edit bash rc. Right? If it is there, G edit. Right. Oh my God! I have made some mistake. Am Surely for that. So this as this point has to be here, and this has to be. Okay, you have this. Nothing is over there. Actually, it has to be like this, right? Negation point. Right now, this could be. No, not Jupyter notebook. So for that, so you could also add it in the uh, Gedit Bash RC, Nano Bash RC, Vim Bash RC. You can add it in anywhere, right? There is no problem with that. Okay, Control S, Control S, Control S, Control S, Control S. Okay, just close it. Now what you have to do is you have to use Source Bash RC. When you are doing with the Vim or anything, you no need to use Source, right? But when you are you doing with the Gedit Bash RC, you have to do. So just Do it, right? Now what you do is call this Jupyter notebook, okay? And let's check the object detection code, right? Right. You will have it in on your local host system, and it will be running on the browser, right? And search for this object detection. Wants this the neural programmer. So let's go one by one. Here is the object detection folder, and you will have this JBYNB node. So first you have to trust the code. Okay, yes, trust it. Then now what you do is run all. There will be some warnings, so don't be afraid of it. Now you will have your results here because we are running it on a GPU. Right, just don't be afraid. Okay, when this clock shows up, 
it is just cooking up the code just wait right just wait nothing but just wait okay, it's just cooking up it so there could be some errors no errors till now okay okay no problem still no images showing down right so let's see what happens still the end no still why it's not showing up okay you have your dog images and every images over here if you want to change this images you can just change it but you have to note that the image size is given in this manner right and the paths of the image uh, test paths is in the test images so you have to go there right where are the test images okay where are you my dear test images okay test images are not supposed to be here so you can make a control f e e s t test i shown over here is test images in those directory you can use an alternative image right just paste it oh my god right okay not here right and the flow models and just type control f e e s t s t test slash i n a g t s okay you have a folder called test images and you have these things so you can add another image and do your deduction so this model cpkt is mainly an inception model so let's check this people cars and buses okay let's make people's cars b u s e s bus buses and we are going to copy this image and change it to jpeg okay and we are going to use it okay something is just messing up so we are going to use this image people on streets okay people on streets people's dogs streets cars okay people's dogs streets cars right nothing over here not everything at the same time people's and dogs people's on street right so let's see this is going to detect this correctly okay let's see save images or let us see on beach okay lots of bikinis so don't be distracted on it people with bikinis so let's see this is detecting this baby and this very good family okay so this is supposed to be image 2 and this will be i'll just going to name this as image 3 right image 3 yes i'm right so this is supposed to be image 3 right jpeg i am a g e 3 as suggested over here right just save it on the hem folder then go to the hem folder and copy that to here okay i'm going to do an alternative one f i l okay right home copy this tensor flow test images not tensor flow model 
and control F okay control F T E S T test images and just paste this over here okay now run your code again just run your code again now you should see some detection okay it's just cooking up the code so this is object detection part 1 tensorflow object detection custom object detection part 1 tutorial right so the next tutorial will be on okay it has not detected the other image I don't know why okay or else let's name it as Two, okay, we detect it. Rename it as two. Oh, it's already there. So we just delete this and rename this as two, right? Okay. Now do a detection on this. Okay, right. So it's just cooking up the code. Even though it is cooking with the GPU, it is taking a long time because it has to download the model, I think so, right? So let's see whether it could find this baby, this man and everything images could be found, okay? But we have not specified the size of the image, you have to note that because in the code actually it has detected it, it has not detected the baby, so that's not good, okay? It has detected the person, okay? So that's fine. So this is the most easiest tutorial that I can give you on your this TensorFlow custom object detection. And you have to note that TensorFlow is subjected to many kinds of uh, changes. Okay, this image size and everything is supposed to be of this format, right? So please, if you want to test more images you have to change this range because you have two images you have given up to three if you have more images you have to given up to the nth point right and it has to be in the jpg format if you have it in the png format you have to give it in the png format and the image size should be specified in inches and the output images size of the size in inches of the output images okay so these are supposed to be 12 and 8 Okay, and there, there is no input size of those images. Okay, you have only output, but in the older tutorial, they have given the input also. Okay, right. Okay, so please use the custom object detection API and get benefited from it. There will be lots of tutorial on custom object detection. Part two will teach you how to do custom object detection. So I am going to collect a thousand images, and I am going to make a custom object detection. So please bear with me. We will be just doing it. Thank you. Right part one of custom update.